Hey everyone, Leo with the Dreaming Tree and welcome to the assembly video for our Mushroom Fairy card. Now, I just finished putting together our beautiful fairy. You can see her here, wow. It was a bit of a project, totally worth it. So if you are gifting this to someone or if you're throwing a fairy-based party and using that as a centerpiece uh, or if you're doing both or one or the other and you want a cute card that coordinates with this piece, we've got just what you need here. And I've got all my pieces cut out, as should you. And we're gonna start putting everything together here. It's pretty straightforward. It's a traditional card. Okay, so here is the front of the card. Here is the back. And we're gonna put this together first. Now I have my texture side out and you'll notice on this, there's a little T indicating top. And you obviously want it, you don't want it upside down, okay? And if this is the texture side that you put down, you wanna flip it over, okay? So the texture, shi texture side should be facing out. All right, with that said, we can go ahead and get that part glued together. I'm gonna do that first. So I've already got this pre-folded and I'm gonna begin applying glue. I'm gonna begin applying glue to the back part here on these little scallops. Try not to get any glue on the actual back of this. I might have actually kind of cut into that a little bit. I'll just wipe that off with my finger, no worries. And I'm gonna spread that glue out nice and thin. Okay, I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna take it like this and just nudge it up against the score mark as far as it'll go. Make sure it's lined up top and bottom and then just push this part over and press it down into place. And that should do it. Okay, continue pressing that down. Make sure it gets a really good hold. All right, so it looks like it matches up perfectly. And we're gonna begin on the front. We'll do parts of the front. Actually, we could probably do it all. Uh, well, before we do that, actually, you know what we should do is I'm gonna take this and we're gonna flip it over. Let's put this back piece on. Okay, and this is basically where we're gonna put our little sentiment or you can do a little stamp. So let's get that glued into place. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, Leo, you're covering up the score marks. Well, the score marks only need to be visible on the inside because we're gonna be using that to help us position um, all the other elements. But the idea of this is to cover up these little score marks. So just do your best to get that nice and centered on the back. There's really no guides or anything. Just cover up the cutouts and try to center it as accurately as you can. Just like that. Okay, so we got that. I can flip it over. We're gonna start off with this green layer here and this is gonna go on flat. The only parts that we're going to glue uh, that have any dimension are the little sunflower parts. Okay, so this is gonna go on flat. So go ahead and begin applying your glue. I'm kind of working the perimeter first. Try to get it out there to the perimeter as far as you can. I'm going pretty easy on the glue here. I know it seems like I'm covering a lot of surface area, and I am. It's very thin, I'm not overdoing it. Okay, and let's work some of that glue around the inner perimeter, or inner, inner section. I guess perimeter isn't really on the inside of anything. Okay, and we just wanna match this up with the existing cutout on the actual card base and make sure that you've got it nice and centered. That looks good. And press that down. Wonderful. Okay, looking good so far. Next, we're gonna grab this layer and that's gonna go right on top here. We're gonna match these two up with these two sections here and the rest of it will fall into place for us. And I'm using, this is a DCWV glitter paper and it's not very porous on the back so I may need to give it a few extra seconds to really set. Okay. Right. And 
again, I'm going to match up the two little leaves up at the top. And then of course you've got two on the sides and then two on the bottom. So as long as those are lined up, you know that you've got it pretty much dead on. And if you are off a tad, I won't worry about it too much. We've got a couple more layers that are going to go on top of this to really fill it in. So don't worry about it. Okay. All right. So now we've got this layer here. Now um, I went ahead and inked this and then I also took a dowel and I pulled these petals back to raise them up a little bit so that they're not flat. Okay. I literally just pinched the tip between my finger and the dowel and then curled it back just as if you were like curling your hair. Okay. Now with this, we don't need to put glue on the entire part of this, just on the inner ring, just around the inner ring, I should say. Just go very easy. You don't need a lot. Just kind of keep it pretty close to that center. Okay. And we want these two, the two petals, we want those to match up with the two at the top, the two on the side, the two on the bottom and so on. And then the next layer that we put down, we're going to offset it a little bit just to kind of fill it out. So that's why I was saying if by chance you were off a little bit on the placement of this layer or any of the previous layers for that matter, it's not the end of the world because it's all going to be mostly covered up by an additional layer. Now I'm gluing this paper, which is very, well, it's very smooth to a paper that is metal, I'm sorry, glitter, and they do not want to play nice together. So I'm going to make sure that I give it a few extra moments to really set before I move on. Be very thorough. Okay. Now we've got this piece here. We're going to take this piece and again, we're putting this on, but we are going to offset it so that each of these petals is in the center of uh, the previous layer. Okay, so we're going to grab some glue again, just focusing on that inner ring. Don't need a lot. Just make sure you get it all the way around. Perfect. And pop that right into place. There you go. Try to get it as centered as you can. Whoops. That really shifted on me there. This should glue down nicely since we're going paper to paper. And that looks really nice. The purple and yellow, or the green and the yellow on the purple look really pretty. And this is kind of almost like a transition into fall a little bit with these colors, because that is kind of what we're doing. You know, fall doesn't actually start for over a month and a half, but we're kind of transitioning needless, nevertheless, I should say. Uh, so that looks great. And then we've got this final little piece here that we need to put on top of the yellow. So go ahead and get your glue, work those scallops a little bit. You don't need to put them on every single inch, but you do want to get it on there a little bit. Okay, and get that as centered as you can. Whoops, mine's going crazy all over the place here. There we go. And just press that down into place. That looks really good. Wonderful. And wouldn't you know, these little scallops make for perfect place to add some additional bling, which I will probably do. So take a look at the final photo to see what that looks like. Okay, so that's the exterior of the card. We got the back of the card. And now all that's left to do is just finalize the interior of the card. And we're going to begin with this section here, these two pieces. Now you'll notice on this piece, there's a series of score lines there. And those score lines are there simply to help us position this and get it nice and centered. Okay, now also, down here, I believe that that score mark is where you want to put this little node. Uh, actually, you know, I really don't think it matters, but I'm going to pop that over there. Uh, but you want a nice even border all the way around, kind of helped you 
ensure that you get it dead center. It's going to be very important in one of the next steps here. So just make sure you got that. Okay. And then we're going to start building our little fairy. As you can tell, this whole bundle is fairy themed. So I'm sure it will be loved by many. Okay. Got that nice and centered. Beautiful. All right. And now the only thing that is going to have dimension on this is the actual ferry itself. Okay. Which we're going to assemble separately. Um, there's a mushroom element that goes on top of this and we're going to put that together right now, actually. And that begins with this brown section here that goes just like that. Okay. So we can flip this over, grab our glue, and we're going to get this glued onto the base, the circular base here, actually, not the base of the card, not quite yet. We'll get there. And it goes right there. The bottom of our mushroom should fit snug along the curve of the circle. And we'll press that down into place just like that. Next, we're going to put down this yellow layer. So grab your glue and let's get that in place right on top. Perfect little shadow layer there. Give that a little nudge. There we go. And finally, we've got this little piece that has little cutouts on it. Add the little spots on our little mushroom. Okay, and just pop that right on there. Should fit perfectly onto the previous piece where it will show these little sections. Okay, and then we have this good little guy here. I don't know the anatomy of a mushroom. I'm sure there's a specific word for this. I know there's a cap and a stem. So for our mushroom aficionados out there, if you know what this term is, leave a little comment and let us know. Okay. So that looks really cool. All right. So now we're going to put this on here. You'll notice that we can still see little markers here and that those are going to help us to position this. You can see the tip of this mushroom is actually going to fall right into the little guides there. And then the tip of this mushroom, the side is going to fall right there as well. So we can go ahead and flip this over. Let's get our glue on this entire circle. Like so, and just pop that right in between those guides and right there, press that down. Perfect. Looks great. Okay. Next we're going to take, and we've got uh, well, we have a series of wings. There's two large ones, one that's kind of cut off like that. We're going to save that for the actual ferry. Um, this one is going to get glued flat to this piece here. So throw a little bit of glue on the back of this guy and we're going to put him right here. There's a little marker here and there's a couple markers up there for the tip of the wing. That's where that needs to go. Okay. And we've got a marker here for our little butterfly, but I'm going to actually put the fairy together first before we do that. Okay. So with our fairy, I'm going to start off with this layer here. That's going to be the bottom most layer. And then the next layer is going to be this, this peach or skin colored layer. And we're going to glue that right on top of, in my case, I've got a purple glitter. Now, since this is glitter, I'm going to probably add a little extra glue on this and I'm going to have to be a little extra patient as well. So get that on there as accurately as you can. And this, this, uh, this fairy is one of the mischievous ones. I forget what the exact name of it, of the, the that type of, uh, 
that type of fairy is. I want to say they're newts, maybe? Maybe that's what it is. Okay, now we're going back to the purple that we used on the first layer, and that's going to go on top next. Okay, throw that right on there. You can kind of see, just match it up with the little bottom, bottom parts of the dress, like so. Okay, next we're going to take and grab the other half of the arm and some of the little bit of the hand is actually sticking off so you don't need to put glue all the way down just almost all the way down okay and there's a little section here it's actually her shoulder on the left hand side that you can use to help you with the alignment there okay and then we have uh well an actual pattern it's a small little pattern piece, and there's two other little tiny pieces like this with the same pattern, and those are gonna be for her shoes. Okay, but put that pattern right on there. Okay, and that completes the dress. And I hope I still have both of the shoes. Those pieces were so tiny. Okay, so these two tiny little shoe pieces, um, the larger piece is gonna go on the bottom foot, the smaller piece is going to go on the top foot, and these literally just need a little drop of glue. You don't need that much on there. Probably, that was probably too much as it is. Okay, and put that towards the bottom of the foot so that you see a little bit of the top of the foot showing, just like that. And then let's grab the tiny one, the smaller shoe, and I'm actually just squeezing out a little dot of glue and then just pressing it onto the piece instead of squeezing it out and trying to get it on there in like a line. That would probably end up a huge mess. So let's not do that. Okay, there we go. And I just realized that I goofed up. And no, I didn't. Luckily, I can still salvage this. Okay, yeah, you know what? It's like a little puzzle piece, so I didn't goof up. Uh, but we do need to glue this white piece right into that section. Thank goodness. Thank goodness I didn't goof up there. So let's throw a little bit of glue on there. And you want to match it up with, well, you'll see it. It only fits one way. And that's what creates the separation on the hat as well. So that actually worked out. Phew! I don't have to recut this. Yay! I rarely have to. Sometimes I just kind of overlook things and it happens as I'm sure everybody does. So don't even worry about it. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Okay, great. So now you'll notice that um, on here are some little um, score marks. And those score marks are to help you kind of draw in the facial features. Okay, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to start off with a lighter color just to see what it looks like. I think that would look nice actually. So I'm just going to draw that in just like that. Okay, very simple. And now we're going to grab some foam squares. Uh, I think probably two or three will be enough depending on the size. Okay, so now, as I mentioned, I'm going to grab some foam squares. I've got one there on the head, one sort of by the wing wings, and then one towards the bottom. Peel those off, and we'll get her pop dotted on there. She looks great. Okay, now we do have uh, a series of little score marks here. And you'll notice that one of these little score marks here goes right into this little crevice between her leg and the dress. Just wanna make sure you have her at the right angle for that. And that looks about right. Cause then the other wing should end up right behind her like that. Okay, so you can see that when it closes up, it's all nice and pop dotted. Got some great dimension there. And that just leaves 
that just leaves our little butterfly here and I'll show you where that goes in just one second. Okay, so we've got some butterfly wings here. We wanna fold this in half, okay? And what's gonna happen is we're gonna glue half of this to the card, the other half is gonna be sticking up. But when we glue these layers down, we want the glitter part facing us here Okay, and we want the other glitter part to be there. So what we're doing here is we're gluing, this is how it's gonna come off your mat. You're gonna put one half of it on this, then you're gonna flip it, and then you're gonna put the other one on the same exact side as, as this one here. Okay, so I'll show you that again. I'll just kind of do one at a time here, one second. Let me glue this one down first. Okay, and that's gonna go on the left half of our little shadow layer. And press that down. Okay, so we've got it on half on the left side. And we're gonna fold it over so that you see the underside of the other half of the, the wing. And we're gonna glue this piece to the underside. Okay. And there we go, press that down, there we go. So when it opens up and it's facing you, all you see is the glitter. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue on the back side of the purple. And there's a little score mark there that's gonna fit this little cutout here, just below what would be, I guess, the sternum even though I don't think butterflies even have sternums. Just the chest of the butterfly. Okay, just like that. And then where's my little brown piece? My little brown piece is here. This is the little piece with the antenna. And that is gonna literally just go right underneath the wings. So this little brown piece is gonna go right underneath the actual wings here. Yeah, let me make sure I'm doing that right. Yep, there we go, just like that. Okay, and press that down, and there you have it. There we go, okay, so there it is. Beautiful little card. That one is ready to go, but not done yet, because we have a coordinating envelope to go along with this. So here is the envelope. I've got the flaps already folded over. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece and connect it to the bottom first. Just makes this a lot easier. So go ahead and get your glue on the bottom, bottom tab here. Spread that glue out nice and thin so we prevent warping it and it'll also help it dry much faster. And just get that nice and aligned, nice and centered. All the way down, there we go. Move these tabs out of the way, press that down. Okay. All right, and once we have that in place, we can take this fold it back. And then we'll take these two tabs. We're just gonna put glue on both of them and then just literally close it up. Very simple. Get your glue on there, as well as on this side. And spread that nice and thin all the way out to the very edge. And mine is, despite the humidity, it's drying out really quick here. Okay, so then just take this, fold it up, press it down on both sides, keep holding. Okay, there we go. And then we do have this little piece here that's gonna go right here to kind of give this flap a two-tone sort of effect. Make sure that everything is making good contact there because that glue is already starting to set. Okay, so to get this on, uh, we're gonna take and actually we're gonna put glue on just the flap itself. And then the rest of it will just kind of fall into place. Get your glue all the way out to the perimeter. Okay, and I'm gonna take this piece with whatever pattern 
you want facing away from you. Get it centered, push it up against that little score mark and then just press this down and it should fit and hit the exact spot you need it to. And there's your beautiful little mushroom there. Okay, so keep pressing that down. Make sure it's got good contact. Now, obviously with all this dimension, when we, when we put it into the envelope, it may flatten out a tad and that's okay. That's expected. But when, they, when your recipient pulls it out, it should kind of fluff up at least a little bit. Okay, so you may need to push these down just a little tad here on the sides. Once you get to the top, it should be okay. And you can see how beautifully that fits into the envelope. And as promised, even when you take it out, it'll still be pretty dimensional. If I was to mail this, I would probably at least put it in a bubble mailer. I wouldn't send it just in this envelope, but that's just me. So anyway, that's it for this one. Um, last thing I'm going to do here is, let's see, uh, da, 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 yeah, we're probably just going to throw some rhinestones along the center of this and then call it a day. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a moment and visit our YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button while you're there. Make sure you hit the bell so that you get notifications anytime we release a new project, whether it be paid or free. And if you make this or anything from our new bundle, I would love to see it. And so would over, so would the over 30,000 other dreamers that inspire us daily. So uh, head over to your Facebook, do a search for Dreaming Tree Group, uh, or you can use this little URL that you see here at the bottom. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys had a good time. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos. And also, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.